Yo, what's up everybody? Joey J. Bing here, checking in live, respectmyregion.com. Coming to you guys live from the 2024 Hall of Flowers Ventura podcast roll. I've got a very special guest today, Will Cattenberg from Trees. Today's interview, powered by Trees. Shout out to you guys. And today we're going to be talking about profitability. How you doing today, Will? Doing great, man. Love it. How did it get show so far? Hall of Flowers is one of my favorite shows, man. We got, obviously, B2B, all great retailers, a lot of our customers here. Everyone's having a good time, man. Most definitely, man. I, I love. Natasha inside had this word this morning at the breakfast, uh, the buyer's breakfast this morning you guys hosted. Uh, the divine intervention. We work with you guys year round. We're here next to each other with booths. It's wonderful. We love you guys. We really appreciate y'all. And you as head of sales, you have great impact on what we do. And we're trying to help you guys with what you do. And so I'm interested in learning about what you talk to customers about, with, and specifically retailers, when it comes to profitability. How do you guys help people? What do you do? What the, what's the current thing you guys are working with? You know, I think overall, we're looking to make the best customer experience for our retailers. And obviously, uh, profitability in mind. Um, really, there's a few different things that we do, and I think that's kind of separated us from our competition. It's really focusing on helping grow and scale a business uh, as efficiently as possible. And so. Some of the things that we really work on is, um, number one, we're an open API. So we have uh, kind of a best in class tech stack approach. Uh, a lot of great partners, you know, uh, as retailers grow and scale their businesses, their needs are gonna change. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, being able to, uh, you know, allow a retailer to be more malleable with their tech stack, you know, c gives them a little bit more competitive leverage. Yeah. Um, but really, you know, we, we also have loss prevention in mind. You know, there's a lot of human error. There's a lot of uh, labor hours that are sunk into day-to-day -day operations. And uh, we're really hy hyper-focused on helping retailers only grow, reduce human error, um, but really also upselling as well is a big yes for us. So we have a lot of tools built into the platform that kind of naturally help every single stakeholder at that, you know, at the organization do their job better and how to do their job better. Um, and really it's all about, uh, you know, and ultimately what that results into is higher baskets, uh, higher customer retention, um, and just overall being more efficient. Right. Efficiency, important part of the profitability conversation, right? You have all these different costs, um, that go into these businesses, these different expenses from the labor, yep. the hours of work, the people, the staff, then there's the technology stack, yeah. uh, with fucking Wi-Fi and security and all these different things, right? You know, what are some of the specific things that, and resources that Trees provides in those different lanes and that uh, all are kind of encompassed by retail? You know, software is only as good as the people that know how to use it. And I think one thing that really separates us is our support. Um, really not only just giving great software, but also being a long-term partner and helping make sure that everyone's utilizing the platform until it's full capability. Absolutely. So we have a customer success team um, that pretty much every single person on our customer successing has come from working at a retailer and using trees uh, or been in the, in the cannabis space for, you know, for years. So they really understand our customers' businesses. They understand uh, what needs to be done to help make an impact, to help them, you know, obviously grow and scale at the end of the day. Huge. Trees has been in the space for five, six, seven years? Yeah, How about 2016. Yeah, 2016. So wow, so we're at eight years with that. Yeah. How long have you been with the company? Uh, I've been with Trees for about five and a half years. Yep. What's your favorite thing about working with Trees? Let's take it personal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is technology. This is there's a human element to cannabis that really does separate things, right? Yeah. I've known you for a couple of years now. Absolutely. Why do you work for Trees? What's your favorite thing about it? You know, I think I think it's the people. I think our our uh, our company, everyone really cares at every position at the company. Uh, like I said, we hire a lot of people that have experience. Um, that are really passionate about what we do. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the day, we all have a shared mission and everyone's really bought in. And, um, you know, over the years, uh, you know, we've grown from when I started 30 people at the org to close to 200 now. So, wow. um, yeah, and, and the fact that we can still keep that, you know, that same type of culture as we grow in scale, mm -hmm. uh, it's important. I mean, that's just one of the things I love most about yours, for sure. That's one of the key parts I wanted to key on, uh, the important parts I wanted to key on for the conversation too, surrounding profitability, right, is these different phases of a, of a brand's life, right, of this retail life, right? We've got this launch phase, which is important to have the right stuff to launch. Yep. And then you're getting going, right? Oh, we got to get going. We're killing it. We're, we're growing. We're growing. You're in this growth phase. And then there's like, okay, we're kind of plateaued and it's a different, it's a different phase in yeah. the life, right? Yeah. You know, you guys with the data, the projections, the different filtrations, you guys have this wonderful display in here. Shout out to... Uh, 
uh, I'm blanking on the group right now. I know exactly the company right now. The Edge, yeah. Edge. Yes, Edge. Yeah, they're they're wonderful. Um, uh, uh, you know, they're what, what what they bring to the table is also huge too when it comes to like customer loyalty and things of that nature. Can you talk a little bit about yeah. customer journey, these different phases, and how this all intertwines? You know, I think it, it all goes back to the customer experience. And uh, one thing that's really important is. You know, especially in a competitive market where it's kind of a, a race to the bottom for some retailers yeah, that make it really difficult, competitive, is how can you provide a unique experience to get them to come back in the door? And I think that's being able to speak directly to the customer, knowing their data, what they like to buy, um, their, their favorites, right? Um, but ultimately being able to capture uh, their experience right after they shop. So our integration with Edge is an example. You know, when someone leaves the store, uh, it immediately sends a, a Google review link, right? And they can, you. they can, uh, you know, and you know, we've had customers of, um, you know, really not only uh, like 10x their Google reviews with them, uh, but also uh, being able to address bad experiences too. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, God, that's such a powerful twofold, extremely simple integration right there. Man. Yeah. Everybody that buys gets the opportunity to leave a review sent straight to their stuff, straight, straight to, straight to the customer. Wow. And. Uh, you know, if they have a bad experience, gives management an opportunity to reach out, make it right, and, and try to win that customer back for life. You know, it's huge. Man. When it comes to, well, I'm in sales, head of sales. We've had hundreds of meetings, right? Thousands in some cases. What's your favorite problem to solve that you've seen over time? Oh, man. You know, I'd say uh, the one problem that a lot of people deal with uh, definitely comes down to inventory counting. I think oh, over the years, just you know, a whole nother fucking bread of problem. Yeah, yeah, I, I think uh, it's something that everyone can get better at. Um, we, you know, over the years, we've really mastered a, a really great way to be efficient, uh, reduce human error, and, and do very fast counts. Uh, another partner of ours, Outlaw, you know, they do uh, a combination of RFID scanning, uh, you know, actual scanning labels, and it removes the human error. And, and wow, uh, that's something that's that's made an immediate impact right away for a lot of our a lot of our customers. So I love seeing the Internet of Things come into play more and more over the years. RFIT, these different types of tags. There's a lot of waste in the space, but some of it is very important in terms of the tags. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of wasted packaging and product overall, but a lot of it is due to a lack of data and decision making. They're That's buying right. too much of this, too right. much of that, not enough of this, and misappropriating effort, hours, labor, all of these different things. Yeah, well, and, and that leads right into, you know, being able to be extremely efficient with having the right amount of inventory, right? Yeah. We don't want to have too many SKUs where some lines are either, you know, collecting dust or not selling through. Uh, you don't want to have not enough selection. So uh, a lot of our analytics kind of, uh, you know, instead of you mashing together different Excel reports, it gives you the answers right out of the box. After the, ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what retailers need. They need to spend more time doing uh, what makes them unique and less time working about software problems or, or trying to make sense of raw data. Huge. Trees, helping brands be profitable, get profitable, stay, continue growing, continue scaling. Make sure you guys reach out trees.io that's trees with a z chat io on instagram if you guys need anything you can just you can always reach out to will here head of sales well do you have anything else you'd like to let the people know before we get out of here uh congrats on 13 years man thank I'm, you uh yeah it's been great work with you man and you know we look forward to growing our partnership and appreciate you having me that. no man it's an honor big shout out to hall of flowers thank you guys for having us out i'm joey jb this is will Katzenberg. we are trees in respect region and we will see you guys next year shout out y'all peace see you